Hey, welcome to the 37th Thailand International Auto Expo. Uh, this year, we've got a total of 31 automakers and 20 motorcycle manufacturers. Uh, we've got products uh, starting from eco cars, uh, luxury cars, sports cars, super sports cars, super luxury cars, and a large number of uh, electric vehicles as well. So let's go have a look. So uh, I'm at the BMW uh, booth. And the highlight is definitely the 4 Series with the new front grille, very big, so go, let's go have a look. So, this is a Mazda boot. Mazda doesn't have a new model this year, but they have a special 100th anniversary edition for their product lineup. It's a 100 years for Mazda this year, so special uh, accessories being uh, offered and the Mazda CX-30 let's go have a look just has just won the Thailand Car Day Award just a few days ago and this is the third Car Day Year prize that Mazda has received in the last few years so it's very popular among the Thai automotive journalists yeah that's this is the prize Mazda CX-30 and in 2016, the CX-3 won the prize and Master 3 won last year, 2019. Let's go look at the Honda boat. They've got a very exciting new model this year as well. As you can see, uh, everybody's up on stage at the Honda booth for the Honda City hatchback, which uh, eventually would most likely replace the Honda Jazz in the Thai market and many markets around the world. The uh, city hatchback is powered by a turbocharged 1.0 liter engine. That's uh, pretty powerful. Surely to become one of the best selling Honda models in Thailand in the near future. Look at the color. I mean, really bad ass co gray color here okay so I, I almost forgot Honda City also available in, in hybrid version now so this is the top version of the city you know, uh, in Thailand uh, it's a uh, highest price uh, Honda City and uh, most fully equipped comes with Honda sensing or the intelligent safety uh, package MG is a very popular brand in the Thai market and they recently launched the uh, HSP HEV but now the MG EP it's the first uh, electric van electric station wagon in Thailand let's go have a look claims uh, 380 kilometers on a single charge so it would be uh, interesting how it does in real life the price has just been uh, announced today 988,000 baht Very very cheap People are expecting uh, uh, prices ab above 1 million But this is like 988 so Really really good pricing as well So at, at the Nissan booth uh, My choice is the Navara Pro 4X We just did a short drive of it uh, a couple of weeks ago Powered by a 2.3 liter twin turbo uh, engine this is a facelift version only, uh, not a bottle change, but it looks really, really good. So handsome in front. And although uh, the interior is a bit still old, uh, you get new seats and a lot of some upgraded equipment as well. So uh, not bad, really. From very good effort from Nissan in Thailand. We're still waiting for the uh, unveiling of the new Panamera, but uh, you can see it's uh, the, the shape. So. Very popular luxury brand in Thailand again, Porsche. They sell so many cars each year in Thailand. And now they're going electric. Electric. We got the, the Taycan over there, the fully electric one. <laughs> and of course, a lot of sports cars, 911 and stuff. Let's go. There is the Ford booth. This year they've got the facelift Ranger, which, yeah, looks more complicated and more up market still so uh, not bad they hope to uh, increase the sales during the year-end period and of course the Ford Ranger is one of the uh, 
highest rated pickup trucks in the Thai market today. Guys cleaning up the uh, Mustang 5.0. We drove this uh, a little bit at PR circuit, like a safety car. It's like, wow, oh, it rocks. So we got the Mercedes Benz booth in front. So many cars here. Let's go have a look. What's the highlight? I'm not, I'm not in the movie set, but this is the Mercedes Benz booth. They've got so many celebs coming in uh, every day. And people, highlight here is a new model here. The A class and the GLA is now uh, locally assembled, so the prices come down to just 1.99 million for the entry level model, which will definitely help boost the uh, year end sales for Mercedes, who is actually trailing behind BMW, a few hundred units. So uh, there'll be the final competition between these two brands, BMW and Mercedes Benz. Who's going to win this year? Wait and see. Oh, and this is uh, Mr. Akom from Thairat. Good friend of, my, of, of mine. We've known each other for like since we were teenagers. We're just going. <laughs> GLA is powered by a small 1.3 liter engine. Turbocharged, of course, uh, produces 163 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. Acceleration from 0 to 100 takes 8.7 seconds. This is pretty quick. And the uh, fuel economy is claimed at roughly uh, 17 kilometers per liter. This is one of my favorite eco cars, the Suzuki Swift. Not a new model, but it's a special edition model called the GL Max edition with, with some uh, upgrades compared to the original GL. Not a top version though, but uh, this one's been dressed up with more uh, decast stickers all around and the fender kit, the black fender kit. So uh, looks pretty exciting, huh? For the eco car. The Suzuki Carry is one of the most popular uh, small trucks that's uh, used as, as food trucks or uh, other businesses. In this case, this is the pet spa Suzuki Carry and uh, looks really cute. Let's go have a look inside. What's a pet spa? So uh, you bring your, your pets to uh, shampoo, take a bath, hair, hair cut, stuff like that, I guess. So this is a typical uh, truck for various businesses you can use, whether like food, selling food or as you can see here, uh, like a pet spa. Cute, cute. <laughs> Not so playful. Huh? <laughs> the Vintage Car Club is also here, as this year. Many nice models here. Pre-war, post-war. This looks like a Jag. For sure, it's a Jaguar. The, the, the leaping Jaguar in front. Uh, I'm at the Isuzu booth. They're having a presentation. That's the new new X, all new. And that's uh, Kun Kwan Chai, the show organizer. Unmistakable, for, even from behind. <laughs> die Hard, Die Hard Land Rover fans might uh, have a shock uh, with the new Defender. It looks so modern compared to the uh, the Die Hard Defenders uh, we, we used to know. It's, it's become so curvaceous and so modern. You never know it's a, it's a Defender. This is like a so new generation of Land Rover. The only new product at the Toyota booth is this. The super hyper eco car Yaris uh, GR. This is a 261 horsepower eco car. Imagine the sensation when you drive this thing. It's priced quite high. Uh, not sure how many, how many units they're going to sell, but Surely, a nice car to drive for sure. So, at the Audi boot, definitely the e-tron is a highlight. All electric. Let's go have a look at the specs. Why is that? 5.299 baht. And that's 460 kilos on a single charge. So, oh, oh, that's a long distance. So, this is the uh, charging slot for the e-tron. EVs uh, in general uh, in Thailand, when you buy one, they'll come with uh, a wall box for home charging. Since uh, our outside charging network isn't really uh, 
too too wide yet too uh, it's not all, all over the country so people might feel a bit scared to drive uh, the EVs uh, a long distance long distance but this is like 460 kilos claim so a lot of provinces you can go on single charge so RS4 the uh, station wagon version of the Audi A4 V6 engine, 450 horsepower, 600 newton meters of torque, a speed trip product, and of course the quarter all wheel drive system. It's gonna be fun to drive with this car. Okay, so I'm at the Lexus booth again. EV, this is the UX, UX300E. Right, so, I uh, said 3.49 million and the driving range is claimed at 360 kilometers. So not bad also. Oh, above 300 kilometers is okay. So as, as you can see, we're having more and more EVs being launched. Not only in the luxury segment, but even in the lower segments. As you, as you can see, uh, below 1 million baht like the MG EP. That's a 988. Very price uh, conscious people over here. 100% electric fine <laughs> so maybe a spelling mistake there <laughs> Subaru is one of my favorite brands and this is why the WRX with 268 horsepower actually it's available in manual transmission as well so one of the few cars I think it's the only car in the segment with, with manual being offered now so comes up for the old generation who likes the stick shift Hyundai booth again two more EVs uh, the Ionic has been around for a while but that Kona let's go have a look Hyundai is, is uh, are all imported they don't have a assembly factory in Thailand 312 kilometer range so I think 300 is the is the number that everyone is looking at when offering uh, an EV uh, in this year 2020 the Ionic is a bit <laughs> lower than standard because it's not not really the new model 280 only but the price yeah, 1.7 million not too bad and even this the uh, Kona 1.849 so below 2 million baht not bad okay so I'm at the Mitsubishi booth again highlight uh, that Mitsubishi is very well known for electric cars in Japan, but in Thailand they haven't started yet. But this is the first step, PHEV, the PHEV version of the Outlander being uh, launched this year in Thailand from Mitsubishi. So as you can see, uh, all the Volvo models here are all plugins. And the new model for this year is this one, the XC40 Recharge. All of them are plug-in hybrids. You can see all of them are got, got the charging uh, capabilities. Peugeot is now being uh, distributed by a new uh, company in Thailand, and don't you think the logo looks like a rap dancing lion? Anyway, uh, <laughs> apart from the 5008 and 3008 models, now the 2008. It's the latest uh, model from the French manufacturer. It's uh, all imported. Uh, I think it's imported from Malaysia. We don't, uh, they don't have a assembly uh, plant here. So, uh, but the good point is that uh, when we import cars from Malaysia, we don't have to pay import duty thanks to the uh, free trade agreements. Even Maserati has, has a hybrid already. Imagine that. This is the, the Ghibli hybrid uh, due to be launched later today, but uh, still under wraps. Hybrid Maserati, think about it. And make it better, that's a Rolls Royce slogan. This is Phantom, the most expensive car in the show this year. Uh, price is over 50 million baht, but the new, really new model is this, the Ghost Extended. This is a 46 million baht retail pricing so not far behind gorgeous huh 
mean, the front grill is, is that silver? I mean, all this uh, brushed metal thing is getting. It looks pretty ex exciting with the black wheels too. And I bet this Rolls Royce logo in the middle, it won't turn, even the wheels turn for sure. It'll stay in that position the whole time. Uh, one of the most eye catching cars at the show, the Aston Martin Batches. Look at the color. First SUV from Aston Martin brand. <laughs> it looks. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a little strange, I think. But why not, right? It looks like it's gonna, it's gonna jump at you. <laughs> this is the uh, BMW M Performance uh, parts package for the 3 Series. Lots of add-ons for with a discount as well. These are all, all the add-ons. Sorry, it's entire, but for this price. You pay just this much. So this is the uh, motor show promotion from BMW in performance parts. So right next to the BMW booth is the Mini booth and of course electric again. The Mini E was launched uh, earlier this year and in just like a few minutes all were sold out. So very in very high demand electric Mini. Wow, we got some Cute presenter as well. Not sure why one of her uh, trouser legs are up. <laughs> but, uh, not sure if it's intentional. <laughs> not sure if she's aware of it. Oh, she wants to show off a shoe, maybe. So the uh, Thailand International Motor Expo uh, is held from December 2 to 13 at Impact Challenger in Bangkok. And uh, for those who place orders, for new cars at the show, you can. There's a raffle that, and the first prize is a BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. Not bad, huh? We're the land of a promotion, so uh, even coming to a, to a motor show, you still have a chance to win a car, and as well as a Honda big bike and an MG3. So, uh, so that's the booth behind is where you register, and at, at the end of the show, there'll be a raffle and. There'll be a lucky guy winning this, this uh, vehicles. This is a Kia booth. Uh, they have a new model, the Kano, but this is more interesting, the Soul EV. Not totally new, but you know what? It's got a range of 452 kilometers and it's on sale. So the price is, uh, should be around 2 million baht-ish. So not too bad for a funky and cute electric vehicle from Kia. So this is the uh, motorcycle section. So many brands here. Um, Suzuki, Honda, Husqvarna, KTM, uh, Stomadi, Vespa. So many. So for uh, motorcycle lovers, this is also a good show to come to. That's all for now, uh, see you in our next review.